I get a grip. Just get a grip. Sir, I cringe at having to interrupt whatever ditty it is you're warbling at a respectively low volume. Oh, not at all, Nigel. An artist always has time for his public. Need an autograph? Oh, <laughs> sir, only one thing in the universe could excite me more. If you would indulge a rather obvious question. Shoot. Judging from the spring in your step, in the song in your heart, may I assume you've devised some insidious means of preventing Miss Olinoff from performing tonight? Oh, Nigel, my good friend, I guarantee the singing tycoon will make a return engagement by popular demand here this evening. Ah! Oh, it's being taken care of already. Look at this! You just look at this! Ca calm down, calm down. I can't go about calm down it's 7 59 in one minute we have to open the doors to a crowd of people who expect me to go on and sing in this <sighs> every table in this whole place is booked and i can't go out there looking like a like a lousy piece of modern art <sighs> what am i gonna do Larry, what happened now? What's wrong with it? Right, Andrew, I'm, I'm afraid the news isn't, isn't very good. What do you mean? It's going to be in danger. Yeah, but it's not just the baby. It's, it's Cassie, too. Oh, right, Larry, what are you saying? Oh, you know, what happened? Larry, Dorian, what you stay out of this. Please, please, come on, let stop, him stop, talk. stop. Please, please. Everyone is doing the absolute best they can. Larry, please, just tell us what's going Can on. Can you tell us anything? All right, Cassie's blood pressure is elevated, dangerously so. Numbers. 180 over 110. Eclampsia. Well, it's a class. That's right. Well, it's it's a potentially very serious condition. Are you saying that she could die? Is that what you're saying here? Not only the baby, but that Cassie could die too. Manor Dorian! Way. Don't you Dorian me! Now, what are you doing to keep her blood pressure down? Is she on hydralazine? And what about the baby? We are all doing whatever we can, Dorian. We've got the best team in the hospital in there keeping watch on the baby's heart rate. But first, we've got to stabilize Cassie's blood okay, pressure. Okay, say first. Now, after you stabilize her blood pressure, then Blood what? pressure has to be brought down. Or else what? What happens if you don't bring it down? I, know, I just want to know what happens, Dad, please. All right, all right. The added stress could affect the placenta. Now, it in cases like this, it's possible for the placenta to, to separate from the uterine wall. We're trying very hard to prevent that. But should it happen, then we're going to have to perform a C-section, cesarean. In the meantime, we're, let's just stop talking about what-ifs. I mean, we're all doing whatever we can to keep those numbers down. Listen, I want to see her. You will. As soon as there's some sign of improvement, I promise. Larry, just let us know what's going okay, on. Okay, fine, I will. We're together, son. We're a family. Thank God for that. I thank God for that. Mark, pulmonary edema, fluid in the lung. Pressure's still too high, doctor. Not the hydrocelene IV. Come on. I'm still monitoring. Stable now. Come on, Cassie. Come on, Cassie. Yes, come on fast. Cassie, come on. Come on, come on. Just take my hand. Just give me a minute. Take my Just give me a minute. Okay. Just a minute. Take my hand in, please. Come on. Oh my God. <laughs> 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 we 
Don't talk about the klutz of the county, you know? <sighs> well, I slipped on a wet spot, you know. Well, it's not there now. I took care of that. You know, hospitals spend so much time keeping this place spick and span. People don't catch diseases here. They just break an occasional bone. Okay, but you're okay, though, right? Well, that depends. <laughs> depends on what? On whether I'm going to sue or not, you know? I can't face a whole nother legal convention unless I've, you know, stood up for having fallen down, you know? <laughs> it's my duty. Yeah, well, <laughs> at least it's nice to know that that I'm on your mind. I mean, you know, when you slip or fall, the first word you say is, Bo. Well, what are white knights for? <laughs> I'm sorry to make you crazy, Bo. No, 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 no. I'll never be sorry about doing that to me. You, you just keep on driving me crazy, <laughs> will you, Gannon, huh? <clears throat> we have company. What? Oh, him! <laughs> oh, I guess I dropped him in now. In all the excitement. You mean he's yours? No, he just wants to be your teddy bear. Isn't he perfect? I found him in the gift shop. <laughs> I thought this this was a perfect present for the rock and roll trivia contest finalists. So uh, there you go. Love him tender. You know what? He's he's not a teddy bear. He ain't nothing but a hound dog. Oh, come, don't be cruel. Oh. Oh, 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 forgive me. I'm just all shook up. Oh, well, that's all right, Mama. That's all right. <laughs> please, 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 please. No more. Not unless you want to be lonesome tonight. Oh. Okay. Thank you. You mean for the bear? You know what I mean. I love him. And I love you. Well, it's not exactly top billing, but uh, at least I came in a close second. <laughs> so, you ready for Hank and Sheila's? Oh, that's right. Dr. Price is welcome to Landview party. Uh... It's now or never. Oh, oh no, no, no. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, oh. really. It just kind of slipped out. <laughs> really? <laughs> Speaking of uh, slipping, what? Are you sure you're okay? You didn't hurt yourself here? What do I have to do to prove it to you? Make you dance with me all night until you drop? Hmm? That would be a start. Well, that's a promise. Stop worrying about me, okay? Oh, fine. Listen, um, I'll start taking you for granted sooner or later. <laughs> Maybe. But the idea of something happening to you, I... I just couldn't bear it. Oh, you said bear. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I, I said bear, and that's what I meant. I couldn't bear it if anything happened to you. I couldn't. Ty, how could this have happened? One of the guys painting the dressing rooms must have spilled a, a, a little. A little? Does this look like a little to you? Well, I don't know, Alex, and come on. I, I kind of like it. You have got to be out of your mind. You want me to wear this thing? Sure, why not? Because I'll look like a queen killer bee, that's why. I want names, Ty. And I want to know if that painter has a family. I just don't know why these things always have to happen to me. Look, we got a line out front going almost all the way around the block. We can't keep them waiting any longer. Alex, you got a little problem? Oh, Asa, yes! Look at this dress, look at this! Oh, honey, it's awful. Shoot, that means a singing tycoon has to go on again tonight. Not that I want to, believe me. But how the hell can you get up in, in front of a room full of strangers uh, in your underwear? Oh, I guess that's showbiz. I better go over to the piano player and give him a little pep talk. Oh, honey, if you're, you're welcome to my table down front, get a good seat. It's gonna be a hell of a show tonight. Uh -huh.
robots are not exactly a new thing. My brother Wayne had a whole collection of the guys. But the thing is, Playschool came out with something really different. His name is RC Robot, and the kicker is he's radio controlled. And my Billy... Okay, just follow me and don't get nervous. You think I became the singing tycoon without knowing what I'm doing? Ty! Whoa, whoa, whoa! A little respect for the artist over here, huh? Oh, sorry! And I know just what kind of artist, too. Oh, the Alex, so what? They're gone, Tiger. Everything in my entire wardrobe, all of my sequin dresses are gone. Well, I, I, I didn't take them. Oh, of course not. You're not the sequin type. I just know who did. Who? Him! Asa? Oh, no, you don't mean he's gonna wear... No, he's not gonna wear that! Boy, you scared me. I mean, I, I got this picture in my head of... You know, if him and that red one with the feathers and the sequins... He couldn't possibly fill it. The point is that he has gone into my closet, taken every single thing that I could have possibly worn tonight so that he could make sure he ruined my performance this evening. Looks like he's gonna get away with it, too, huh? Hmm. No. No, he's not. Come on, guys. Oh! Look, I've got ice for the drinks and dip for the then, chips. Oh, there you there go. You. And uh, you, since everybody else's hands are oh. full, I'll get the door. Honey, how's my paella looking? It's almost ready any minute now. Okay. Hey. Hi, Hi baby. Hi, Dad. Kevin. How are you? Hey. Cool. Hey, let me get your coats, guys. Oh, uh, uh, you. Rachel, now you have met my brother, uh, haven't you? Mm -hmm. uh, Kevin Buchanan. Dr. Benjamin Price. Am I proud of what? <laughs> <laughs> nice to meet you. The same here. Uh, Rachel? Uh, listen, Kevin, you want to help me out in the kitchen? Anything for you, Hank. Oh, hey, thanks, guys. You like chitlins. <laughs> chitlins? <laughs> listen, a little while, uh, he's doing whatever he's going to do. Why don't we all sit... Uh, oops. That's for me. Wait, wait, do you need some help? No, dear, I just have to get it out of the oven before it explodes. Um... Hey, okay, <laughs> Ben, why don't you tell Rachel, you know, that joke you would do? You know that one, right? Do you tell jokes? <laughs> There's a new self-help group for people who can't stop talking. Excuse me. Don't don't feel like you have to make small talk, okay? Well, I figured we didn't know each other well enough to talk anything but small. All I want to know is what you're going to do about my mother's um, problem or condition. I don't know what you want to call it. Are you just going to let her ignore it? Now, Miss Gannon. Dr. Price. Ben. Your mom's my patient. Now, I've got a responsibility to both her health and her privacy. What about to her family? Look, I don't want to argue. I just want to know what's going on. I'm worried about her. Just tell me. Sorry, but it's strictly by the book. You'll just have to understand. Tell me, doctor. Is there a heart under all that spit-shine professionalism? Or do you live every aspect of your life by the book. Excuse me. I'm sorry, but I've got to go. No, no, no. You're not going anywhere. I want to know what's happening in there. I'm a doctor, all right? I want to know what's being done and not done in that room. Please, I'm not supposed to talk to... I'm supposed to assist any and all physicians. That my dear, is your job. Mm -hmm. I want to know everything that is being done for my daughter, all right? And if I disapprove of even one of them... Dorian, oh, be quiet. Just who do you think you are? Huh? Don't you think you've done enough damage for one night? Stop it! Now! I am sorry. We are all upset, and I am sick and tired of her demanding hysterical fits. That's my daughter in there. Who put her there? How dare you? Dorian, did I tell Cassie that you were the one who fomented those disgusting sexual harassment charges against Sloane? Was it Sloane or Andrew or any one of us who knew the truth? Did any one of us say one single word to Cassie? No. Because we were aware of what the repercussions could be to Cassie in her condition. Couldn't you see how happy she was? Oh, could, couldn't you see how happy we were? She was so happy that we were a family once again. My family which is precisely why we didn't say anything. Do you know it is so astonishing that your daughter, of all people, should turn out to have a nature that is more trusting, forgiving, and kind than I've ever seen in any other human being on this earth? 
It boggles the mind that you two are related. Cassie honestly believed that you had changed again. Oh, don't you dare even try to blame all of this on me. It's him. Him, your precious Sloan. And how is that? Oh, do tell us, please. Point out the singular truth that the rest of us have obviously been far too blind to see. How are all the lies that you told Cassie Sloan's fault? You really want to hear? Oh, Vicky, I would be thrilled. So get off that high horse for once in your pseudo-patrician life and shut up and listen. Because I've got a lot of things to say to you and to your virtuous general. And it's about time that you heard them. This is my... There's a new self-help group for people who can't stop talking. Okay, what is it? And on, and on, and on. Oh, <laughs> uh, you like that, that's huh? That's great. Yeah. See, I can't tell a joke like that because I can never remember them, right? Mm. It wouldn't do you any good. It looks like they wouldn't go over too well on your dates. <laughs> so I don't have a sense of humor? Uh, did I say that? Okay, hey. Look, I laugh when I find something funny. Well, I like to see that. When did it happen last? Come on, Rachel, hey, you got the joke, right? Anonymous. On, on, and on. In. Yeah, I got the joke, Kevin. You know something? I'm starting to think my sister Sheila needs a help with some more dares. Uh, is one of you fine people going to excuse me? Uh, yep, mm-hmm. So much for the smooth exit. Hey, it's all right, we'll take care of the door. You go on and do whatever it is that you gotta do. Uh, thanks, I will. <laughs> knock, knock, guys. You're not alone out here anymore. <laughs> what do you have against Ben Price? Nothing. <laughs> Hey, Bo, Mom. Oh, Hello Rachel. there. Jeb. Hey. How you doing? How are you? Where is everybody? In the kitchen, bringing the food. Let me get those coats. Here, I'll take them. Thank you. Hey. Hey, so, how are you? Fine, sweetheart. What, wrong answer? Ah. Here we go. <laughs> Toothpick what? heaven. What do you got here, Swedish meatballs? Uh, 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 from an old family recipe. Didn't know our family came from Sweden, did you? <laughs> Show no mercy, big guy. Oh, thank you. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I don't mind if I do. All thank right. you. Ah, yeah. I'm biting into something that won't feel the pain. You can see that. Then you don't have to feel guilty. No. Uh, that was also attempt at levity. Mm -hmm. So. I've been waiting to talk to you, Miss Scanner. Oh? Mm-hmm. You ever heard of a young, handsome doctor about to be sued over his lack of a sense of humor? <laughs> <laughs> I got a joke you want to hear. Well, are you giving up medicine and going into stand-up, or has one of the pod people got you? Well, there's a Ben at work, and there's a Ben at home. Oh, sort of like Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Saturday Night Live. <laughs> What's going on? You're kind of pushing too hard. All good news. Don't worry. I was just on the phone with David Dowling for almost a half an hour, begging. You think it's easy getting a world-class neurosurgeon to fit you into his schedule? Oh my God, did he fit me in? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And lucky for you, he was one of my faculty advisors. One of his patients had to postpone because of a flu virus. Uh, uh, do me a favor. Let your daughter in on the details. And maybe she'll stop treating me like public enemy number one. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh. And by the way, mm -hmm. if I were you, I'd turn in early. Why? What, what, I'm sorry, I forgot that, didn't I? Um, Dr. Dowling has an opening, but it does come down kind of fast. When did he schedule surgery for? You go in the hospital tomorrow. Tomorrow? So there was Cassie, in the middle of Sloane's living room, with tears streaming down her face. After everything he had done to destroy our relationship, what was I supposed oh, to you think? I didn't understand. I was consoling her. Oh, yes. Mr. Compassion himself. You and your hardcover, hatchet job. Hundreds and hundreds of pages of lies. The Nothing but lies. Even if that book were true, which it was not, is it worth the price that I've had to pay, the price that we've all had to pay? Is that really so hard That's to understand? It. That's the end, the end. I don't want to hear any more. I don't want to hear any more from anybody. I don't want to hear about the book. 
I don't want to hear about the false charges. I don't want to hear one word from you, Dorian. Andrew? Is there any news? Oh, is she there? Okay, she's resting. You can go in and see her now. Thank you, okay. Thank you. Uh, I will answer all your questions one at a time, everything I know. Yeah, see? Sweetheart, it's Andrew. I'm here. There he says everything's gonna be fine. Just fine. You and the baby. Cassie, it's gonna be all right. I love you. I love you, sweetheart. Andrew. Cassie. Andrew. I'm here, sweetheart. I'm here. I'm here. Shh, shh, shh. Rest. You rest, okay? Rest or talk. Talk if you want to. You love to talk. Mm. Talk if it helps. I'm here. I'm listening. What? What is it? You're so cute. Cassie, I don't care. Mm. I had to come in the room and tell you I Shh, love you, darling. Make you go. I will get always love you. Get out of here. Oh, you oh, hear me? Oh, stay out of the way. Get out of the way. Get out. Just stay out. Up the bio to the Andrew! Something for what's happening to her. Yeah. What's happening? Yeah. Oh. I'm here, honey. Oh. I'm here. Daddy, take him out. Get the father out. Baby's in distress. Yes, it's all right. Let's go. We're taking the baby. Prepper for a C-section now. Come on, come on. 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 Please clear the corridor. Cassie, clear the corridor. Take it down for surgery. Let's go, go, go. Come on. Dr. Vance. Move it. All right. Let's get fine. Hey, Dr. Vance. Dr. Vance, come on to my office. Dr. Vance, she was smiling. We were talking. She was smiling. What happened? What happened? I'll tell you what happened. This is what happened. Her. She's what happened. What? Well, look at her. No, I've had it, Dad. She was stable. She was stable. She was weak, but stable. And just one look at you. This falls on your head now, Dorian. I swear. From now on, this is your responsibility. I will hold you responsible until the day I die. I swear it. Until the day I die. Tomorrow. Oh, sorry, it's you... too soon. It's too soon, and I, I don't mean to make it sound the way I obviously sound, and and it's not that I don't appreciate it, it's just, especially after what happened this afternoon. What, what, did I miss it? Oh, after I left your office this afternoon. Your eyes? Oh, they went totally black. <laughs> Can you believe it? I sound like a movie out of the 40s. I went totally black, Doctor. I'm not laughing. Neither was I. I was blind for a few seconds there, Dr. Price. Totally blind. That's the best argument I can give you for going ahead with this surgery. Now, getting an opening with David Dow. I can't come up with an excuse that fast. I mean, what am I possibly... How am I possibly going to explain to Bo that, I, that, that I'm going to be just disappearing for a couple of weeks? Uh, how about telling him the truth? You know, the only thing you should be worried about... I am right not now. telling Bo. And you know my reasons. Yeah, I do. And they stink. Well, rotten excuses, but they're mine. Gotta love them. All right, all right. Start talking, everyone. <clears throat> I want opinions on my baby brother. Well, that tells a pretty good joke, in my humble opinion. Sheila, Ben is, he's great. He's gonna do just fine here, okay? Yeah. Looks like he's come a long way pretty fast. He is so amazing. No social life at all, though. Yeah. Rachel, Rachel, maybe you can introduce him to some one of your friends, somebody, you know what I mean? What do you think? What? Rachel. What? I'm sorry, what? My brother. Look, don't introduce worry, don't worry. Nobody in this town parties like the Buchanans. Isn't that right, Kev? Hey, that's right. Starting now, we'll make sure it's our own personal mission that Ben Price has led us astray as soon as possible. <laughs> what do you say to that, Rachel? Excuse me for a minute, okay? Excuse me. She's, uh, she's in a strange mood tonight. Yeah, I noticed that. Oh, I couldn't sit over there pretending. Sweet, what is going on? What aren't you telling me? I want to know, please. All right, fine, but then... First, why don't you put a smile on your face so everybody else in the room thinks that you're having a good time and that there's not a problem. You, uh, like, smile, Rachel? Make it like I'm telling you a joke. <laughs> <laughs> so what's happening? 
Well, actually, Dr. Price was telling me a funny story about a woman who's got surgery scheduled for tomorrow morning. They're going to be working on my head before you know it. Tomorrow. <laughs> well, that's great. I mean, now you have to tell Bo. No, I don't. <laughs> and he will not hear one word about this surgery. Do you understand? That's the way it's going to be. That's the way it's going to be played, because that's the way I want it. Not one word. All right, everybody, quiet down, please. Whoa, hey, do you all come here to be entertained or talk to your friends? Ah, oh, that's, that's much better. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to All Offs, as of now, anyway. Due to circumstances beyond her control, the singing gun ma won't be singing here again tonight. But the good news is... The good news is the singing gun ma will be performing tonight. As a matter of fact, the singing gun mall is going to perform like no other singing gun mall you've ever seen. Hit it. The minute you walked in the joint, I could see you were a man of distinction, a real big spender. Good looking, so refined Wouldn't you like to know what's going on in my mind? So let me get right to the point I don't pop my cork for every guy I see Hey, big spender Spend a little time with me Wouldn't you like to have fun, fun, fun? How's about a few laughs, laughs? I can show you a good time. Let me show you a good time. The minute you walked in the joint, I could see you were a man of distinction, a real big spender, good looking, so refined. Wouldn't you like to know what's going on in my mind? So let me get right to the point. I don't pop my cork for every guy I see. Hey, big spender, spend a little time with me. with Lubriderm, the one created for dermatologists. The lasting moisture of Lubriderm, because your basic instinct is to save your skin. How long does Replens relieve the discomfort of vaginal dryness? All day, all night, through the next day and night. Discover the... Mom, I am glad that you've changed your mind. I'm glad that you decided to take care of yourself. But you can't hide this. Yes, I can. No, you have to tell him. It's not right. Don't you tell me what's right, young lady. There is no right and there is no... <gasps> this, no. this is my decision. This is my life. And there will be no further discussion. Is that clear?
I'm, so, I'm sorry, Rachel. Oh, please, sweetheart, not now, okay? This really hasn't been a very good day for me. And I can't do this without you. Mom, you shouldn't be alone. Well, I'm not, am I? Please stick with me, Rachel, okay? I need you. By day, Dr. Benjamin Price is a grim and dedicated physician. But after hours, he ducks into a nearby examining room to become a, a wild and crazy brother, brother. Mm -hmm. from the block. From the block. I don't know what I'm going to do with you two. I mean, get these guys in a room together. They're pretty scary. Now, a couple of stories we could tell about you too, Nurse Ratched. Excuse me. Mm -hmm. I believe she's the family cutter. <laughs> Thanks, so. Rachel. Come back in here. <laughs> Look, I want to make a toast so everybody grab a glass. Oh, okay. Listen, there, um, there's going to be a lot more laughter around here from now on. And it is about time. Ben Price, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Landview. Here. Yeah. Yeah. Welcome to Landview. Here's to his and all of our futures. All good things. Now, first, first of all, I just want to say after a after a stormy history, I've got myself a beautiful friendship with a beautiful lady. I'm looking forward to our future, Nora, to a very special friend. To the future. Yeah. And we've got a brother and a sister together living in the same town again, under the same roof. Ready to drive each other stark, raving crazy. <laughs> and to Kevin. Kevin Buchanan. A man I, I misjudged. A man I've come to respect. The future. To a father and a daughter who have learned to listen to each other, who have always loved each other. To yeah. our future dad. I'll second that. <laughs> and to you, <laughs> Sheila. <laughs> Thank you. Oh, baby, I love you. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> and last but not least, <laughs> after all the trials and tribulations, to Bo and Nora, we're looking forward to watching you grow old together mm -hmm. to a long, and happy and healthy future. Hey, congratulations. Thanks, Hank. And on that congratulatory note, it's time to make an exit. Oh, oh you, um, you're not leaving already, are you? Oh, yes. I always say after a good tribute, leave while they still love you. Whoa, whoa, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. What's the rush here? Yeah. Whoa, whoa, whoa. I, I, I'm supposed to be the center of attention here at this party. <laughs> now you let them be, huh? I, I mean, maybe somebody got the itch to spend the rest of tonight alone. <gasps> <gasps> Neurosurgeon and mind reader, Sheila, he's a man of many talents. Yes, he is. <laughs> I will get those coats. Oh, you know what? We're not even going to be here that long anyway. Ben has got to assist in OR at this meeting. Really? Mm -hmm. What are you doing now? Oh, come on, fella, before you get yourself uh, in another conversation. Uh, okay. <laughs> All right, thanks, All right. Sheila. Thank you. Okay. Here, let me help you with that. Oh, hey. 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 Thanks for everything, huh? You bet. Oh, would Thank you me. let these guys go already, huh? <laughs> <laughs> and Sheila, would you get some food? Food, food and, is and a good idea. Uh, come on. Help me pick out some music. Oh, the party manned early, but it won't end quite. Huh? Yeah, everybody, everything. We'll see you later, okay? Night. All right, all right. Hey, 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 lawyer. Yeah. You get some rest. Oh, I will. Huh? Okay. See you, baby. Night. 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 Do you have a headache or something? Oh, well, I have a little one, but no, you know, no big deal. I mean, it's not like a migraine or anything. It's just. Ben was right. I just, just 
just want to be alone with you tonight for a little bit. Is that right? Mm -hmm. Well, lucky. I, I, I'm, I'm taking requests. Well, you don't mind, too. You. Just to spend a quiet evening alone. Just looking at you. Okay? Yeah, it's okay with me. I am so happy. <laughs> just staring at you. Do you mind if I just stare at you? <laughs> mind if I stare back? Well, is that all you're planning on doing? Not a chance, Red. No. Not a chance. You just stay away from her, you understand? Andrew, this is not helping Cassie. All this anger is not Maybe helping. it's helping me, Dad, you know? Maybe the anger is about the only thing that's holding me together right now, Dorian. You did this, you. You just stay away from us. You stay away from me. You stay away from my wife. You stay away from everyone. You just leave us alone. Andrew, would you like something to drink or something? No. There's only one thing I want to happen right now. Maybe so we should all go up to the chapel. No, I just... I don't want to be that far away, you know, just even one floor. I just... Anyway, I don't need a chapel. Dorian Lord is involved. Heartache and destruction are never very far away. Is the rest of the team here yet? They're on their way. Oh, oh, Tommy, back to your Come on, Cassie, hold on. Come on. Oh, oh, come on, Cassie. Your heart is coming. Come on, let's do it. Go, Cassie. Come on, honey. Come on. Today's enlightened babies realize there is a way to help prevent. I gotta admit, you got guts, honey. Don't you just love that in a woman, Nigel? Hmm? <laughs> okay. Uh, oh, okay, okay. Where were we? They were, oh, oh, thank you. Here we go. Sorry, I got a few steps. Yes, yes, yes. What's your name? Uh, who's this? That's mine. Oh, thank you. Yes, yes, Mrs. Brownell. Absolute. Yeah, Mom, uh huh. Laura. Uh huh. Yes, mom. Sorry. Uh huh. No, I understand. Uh, okay. Uh, yeah. I love you too. All right. Well, I. Uh, okay. Well, you just you tell daddy. Okay. I love you. Bye bye. I'm sorry it took me so long. I parked the car in the garage. I'm coming out. Who pulls into her driveway? That Mrs. Brownell. <laughs> Can that woman talk? <laughs> God. <laughs> What about this time? She's... I don't know. I, I, no, I stood there for 15 minutes, and I finally just, you know... What'd your mother have to say? Is there anything new? Well, actually, yeah, there, uh, there's a lot new. What? Is anything wrong? Uh, well, I mean, she didn't really want to go into it on the phone. It's just, uh, I, um... I mean, something's not right. I, uh, I kind of get the feeling that it's to do with Daddy, so, um... <sighs> I'm going to take the last flight out tonight. What, tonight? You're going to Chicago? Tonight? Well, I mean, you didn't talk to her, Bo. You didn't hear how she, no, right, she sounded, right, you right. know? Right, right, right. No, no, if, if your mother's upset, you... Yeah, you it's know. just not... It's just not like her to call that way. I know, you gotta go. If you gotta go, you gotta go, so... You know? Yeah, well, I mean, that's... kind of where I, I felt, you know, so... Um, better go pack. Yeah, so what do you think... What is it? Is it his heart, or... What? Yeah. 
Probably, you know, that's kind of what I was thinking, but she didn't really want to tell me any of this on the phone. You know, she's sort of the, uh, you know, well, I don't want to be a burden, you know, it's sort mm. of a family trait. Yeah, hold it, just well, hold it. Oh, I, I got it. I know, you got it, now I got it. Come on. I'm gonna miss you. I gotta get in all the hugs I can till you leave for the airport, you know. If this is something serious, there's no telling how long it's gonna be till you get back. Well, that's true. I mean, it, it, it could be more than a few days, you know? Well, it better not be. Well, even if it is, it won't be for long. Andrew. How is she? Is she all right? That's all I want you to say, that Cassie and the baby are okay. Larry? Jake has my smile and his dad's fair skin. 